Hello again and welcome back to Skyrim. I'm Mental Fox. Thanks for joining me again. Well, between the last episode and this episode, I did what I said I was going to do, and that was take care of my inventory. I got it down to 188. Dropped off. A lot of stuff sold a lot of stuff. Dropped off a lot of books. So 188 is not too bad. My gold is up to 95,000. But one thing... On to Skyhaven Temple. Here you go. One thing that was strange... Um, I went to Solitude. I went to a lot of cities to sell stuff off. You know how it is. When I went to Solitude, uh, Delphine decided to show up with us here. So we've got Delphine with us, and we've got Esbern with us. So I didn't know that Delphine was going to be part of this quest. Uh, it's fine that she is. I'm just wondering what made her decide to show up, because for a moment it was just Esbern. But now we've got Delphine. What if we talk to her? Let's keep moving. Hey, uh, what's so important about me being a dragonborn, by the way? The Blades have always guarded and guided the Dragonborn, but we'd forgotten why. Now our purpose is clear. I'm all that's left of the Blades, and you're the Dragonborn. Together, we're going to stop these dragons if we have to put every last one of them back in the ground. Wow. Okay, then. Together, we are going to stop the dragons. That's what we're going to do. Let's see, we're supposed to go in this direction here. I think the entrance to this cave is somewhere up here, maybe? The quest that we're doing is Alduin's Wall. I found the Blade's lore master, Esburn, and brought him to Riverwood to talk to Delphine. He believes that the secret to defeating Alduin will be revealed by Alduin's Wall, an artifact created by the Ancient Blades. We need to go to Skyhaven Temple to find Aldwin's Wall and see what it can tell us. We need to gain entrance to Skyhaven Temple. That's what we need to do. And it's right here. So, uh, come on, everybody. Let's go. To the Karth Spire, it says. And we go into the very, very dark tunnel. Very dark, very scary. But not dark at all. Oh boy, she's just running right ahead, isn't she? What are you doing? Be careful. The Forsworn are dangerous and dangerous. Yeah. yeah, and you just go running in there. Let's see, here's one right here. Hey, what do you got on you? <laughs> uh, people keep telling me about Forsworn armor and how cool it is. And like, how rare it is or something. So, I'm gonna pick it up. Alright, I'm picking it up. There. I don't have to pick up the sword, too, do I? It's a cool sword, though. It's a cool-looking sword. What about the goat cheese witch? Did I pick that up? <laughs> but yeah, several people were like, Oh, man, you gotta pick up that Forsworn armor. It's like, okay, I picked it up. Well, you know, I'm gonna let them do the fighting. They seem to be doing just a fine job, and they were in such a hurry to get in there and do some fighting <laughs> that uh, apparently Jordis and I are just gonna hang out down here. Boy, what are you guys doing? Look at them just rushing ahead. This isn't... Hey, this isn't how I do things, you guys. I like to take my time. Man. Just don't go rushing ahead. And end up dead. What's this guy got? Looks like somebody that took his armor. Wait a minute. What would you like to do? Harvest Briarheart or search for Sworn Briarheart? What the hell is this? I have never seen that happen before. I don't know, Harvest Briarheart. Briarheart added, completed examine a Briarheart warrior, talk to Neloth. Okay, well that was part of a different quest, I guess. Interesting. Hey, here's some gold. Spigot, tankard. So they have just run on ahead. Uh, if they want to run on ahead, they can go right on ahead because I I'm not going to go rushing into that. So I think some people also told me that, is it, who was it? No, it's Mjol. That's right. Somebody told me that Mjol looks really good in the Forsworn armor. <laughs> so, if I ever travel with um, Mjol, I will... Uh, I'm sure I'll remember to give her that armor. Yeah. You know me, I, I remember everything. I'll totally remember to give that to her. Uh, let's search in these chests. A filter of resist shock, lock picks, gold. I mean... All this, all these goodies here, just left behind by Delphine and Esbern. They just go rushing ahead, missing out on all this cool stuff. They're probably gonna die on their own because I'm not there to babysit. 
I'm sure they'll be fine. Oh, there they are, just hanging out. I, whoa, this is a neat place. Cool. What's up, guys? These pillars must have something to do with it. Yes, these are Akaviri symbols. Here, let's see. You had the symbol for king and warrior, and of course the symbol for dragonborn. That's the one that appears to have a sort of arrow shape pointing downward at the bottom. Uh huh. This one. Dragonborn. <laughs> and then he said two other things. What, what, can you repeat yourself, Esper? We must be getting close. We should proceed cautiously. Hey, um, how do we find the entrance to Skyhaven Temple anyway? We should be careful. There's no telling what traps and wards the ancient blades may have set. Well, that didn't help me at all. <laughs> you didn't tell me crap, dude. We'd best be careful in here. Yeah, you best be careful in here instead of running off ahead of me. Lead on to Skyhaven Temple. I love that they both have a torch. Like was right. Well, he said this one was something and this one was something and this one was Dragonborn. Maybe we take them all and look like Dragonborn? Do we just match all three? Is that all we do? Yes, that's it. The symbol on the middle pillar. Uh huh. Huh? Oh, watch it, out! It worked. Let's see what those old blades left in our way. <laughs> I like both of these voice actors. I like the voice actor for Esburn and I like the voice actor for Delphine. I like both of them. Kind of wish I would have come down here and searched down here before I dropped that drawbridge. Oh, he came down here. <laughs> you doofus. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything down here. Right? There's nothing down here. Okay, I just, you know, just checking. Oh, that was cool. She walked through there. Alright, let's go up there and go across that little bridge that we just dropped. Let's see what's waiting for us here. Careful here. See these symbols on the floor? Ooh. Mm, Esburn's right. Ooh. Look like pressure plates. Yeah. Be careful. Well, what, what should I do, Esburn? Are you sure this is the right way? <laughs> Are you? We'd best be We'll cross once it's safe. I'm going to guess that I need to walk on the uh, Dragonborn symbols. So if you, if you would pardon me, sir, so that I could get past you, dear sir, to step on that. If you, if you don't mind. Be careful. I, I, I will, but I, I need you to get out of my way. <laughs> okay, walk across here. Walk across here. We'll cross once it's safe. Okay. Alright. And we're gonna walk here. And we're gonna go here. And we're gonna go here. Be careful. Uh, you're distracting me. Quiet. No! <laughs> She's just walking on him. No penalties for her. We'll cross once it's safe. Is it? Oh. Oh. Be careful. Let's move. Yes, yes. I think we must be close to the entrance. He thinks we must be close to the entrance. Okay, let's go. Boy, they are just rushing ahead. Uh, okay, that is the bridge that we crossed before. Just looking down there just to see if there's anything down there. Chest or anything cool. You know, I don't want to miss out on stuff, man. I don't like missing out on stuff. I have a severe case of FOMO. Ooh, look at that. That's neat. Sky Haven Temple discovered. Look at that. That's neat. Nothing to say? Huh? Wonderful. Remarkably well preserved, too. Cool. Well, do I dare open this chest? Bad things could happen. Uh, a copper and onyx circlet. Elixir of resist fire. Some gold. And uh, some other stuff. 
Here's the blood seal. Another of the lost look at me, Riards. No doubt it's triggered by, well, blood. <laughs> Your blood, Dragonborn. Uh. Look here. You see how the ancient blades revered Riemann Cyrodiil? Um, no, not really. What, what, what am I looking at? Hey, I'm going to ask you again. How do we find the entrance to Skyhaven Temple? To Skyhaven Temple itself. Uh huh. The Akaviri blood seal can only be opened with the right kind of blood. Your blood, Dragonborn. I don't like the way he says that. I mean, he's practically salivating. <laughs> Your blood. That's neat. This whole place appears to be a shrine to me. Right. He ended the Akaviri invasion your under mysterious the circumstances. Yeah, I don't know anything about Riemann. Activate blood seal. Do you have anything you'd like to say? After the Let's get this door nope. open and see what we've got. The Akaviri went into his service. This was the foundation stone of the Second Empire. Try dripping blood onto the carving on the floor. <laughs> Running back and forth as these two say things. Uh, above, what are you waiting for? I'm waiting for you to stop talking. That's what I'm waiting for. Here we go. Cool. It's coming to life. That is cool. You should have the honor of being the first to set the golden sky. Damn straight. What do you need, Dragonborn? Hey, did you say something? No, I'm just Very checking. Good. Make sure you don't have anything else to say. This is a neat place. I wonder what the map looks like. Let's look at the map. Oh, hmm, that's weird. There is no... Is there a local map? Oh, there is. Strange. Uh-huh. This place is kind of messy looking. Let's go. Into Skyhaven Temple. Let's check it out, man. This is pretty cool. Oh, whoa, hey, whoa. Watch where you huh? point that thing. Fascinating. Original Akaviri bar reliefs. Almost entirely intact. Oh, yeah. I didn't realize we were in a museum. I just went rushing through here. He's... Amazing. Actually, looking. You can see how the Akaviri craftsmen were beginning to embrace the more flowing Nordic style. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say the we're same thing. We're here for Alduin's wall, right, Esbern? Uh, yes, of course. We'll have more time to look around later, I suppose. Let's see what's up ahead. Okay, let's see what's up ahead. Oh. Oh, cool, she's lighting those. Neat. <laughs> Thank you. Pretty cool. Got some stairs over there. We got some stairs right here. She's going that way. He's going this way. Oh, she's going to light that one, too. Nice. Hey, uh, why don't you make yourself Here useful, George? Here it is. Aldrin's Wall, so well preserved. Huh? I've never seen a finer example of early Second Era Kaviri sculpture of relief. Hesburn, we need information, not a lecture on art history. Yes, yes. Let's see what we have. Chair over there with the table. Oh, that's pretty neat. That's pretty cool. Look how detailed this is. Cool. Look, here is Aldrin. This panel goes back to the beginning of time, when Aldrin and the dragon cult ruled over Skyrim. Here, the humans rebelled against their dragon overlords, the legendary dragon war. Aldrin's defeat is the centerpiece of the war. You see, here is fallen from the sky. The Nord Tongs, masters of the voice, are arrayed against him. So does it show how they defeated him? Isn't that why we're here? Ah, patience, my dear. The Akaviri were not a straightforward people. Everything is couched in allegory and mythic symbolism. Yes, yes. This here, coming from the mouths of the Nord heroes, this is the Akaviri symbol for shout. But there's no way to know what shout is meant. You mean they used a shout to defeat Alduin? You're sure? Hmm? Oh, yes. Presumably something rather specific to Dragonus. Or even Alduin himself. Remember, this is where they recorded all they knew of Alduin and his turn. So 
So we're looking for a shout then. Damn it. Have you ever heard of such a thing? A shout that can knock a dragon out of the sky? Um, well, the Greybeards might know. You're probably right. I was hoping to avoid having to involve them in this, but it seems we have no choice. Hmm. Huh. What do you have against the Greybeards? If they had their way, you do nothing but sit up on their mountain with them and talk to the sky or whatever it is they do. The Greybeards are so afraid of power that they won't use it. Think about it. Have they tried to stop the Civil War or done anything about Alduin? No. And they're afraid of you, of your power. Trust me, there is no need to be afraid. Think of Tiber Septim. Do you think he'd have founded the Empire if he'd listened to the Greybeards? Hmm. The Greybeards may have a point. Power is dangerous. Or don't worry, I'm not afraid of my own power. I don't know, man. I think they might have a point. Only if you don't know how to use it. All the great heroes have had to learn to use their power. Those that shrank from their destiny. Well, you've never heard of them, have you? And there are the villains. Those that misused their power. There's always a choice. And there's always a risk. But if you live in fear of what might go wrong, you'll end up doing nothing. Like the Greybeards up on their mountain. Hmm. Well, I guess I better go see what Arngear knows about this shout. It's a long walk. It's a very long walk. Right. Good thing they've already let you into their little cult. Jeez. Not likely they'd help Esbern or me if we came calling. Not with that attitude. We'll look around Skyhaven Temple and see what else the old blades might have left for us. It's a better hideout than I could have hoped for. Talos, guard you. Look okay. here, in the Ooh. third panel. The prophecy which brought the Alkaviri to Tamriel in the first place, in search of the Dragonborn. Here are the Akaviri, the blades. You see their distinctive long swords. Now they kneel, their ancient mission fulfilled, as the last Dragonborn contends with Aldrin at the end of time. Are you paying attention, Delphine? You might learn something of our own history. Yeah, are you paying attention? This is good stuff. Yeah, look at the detail on this. Holy cow. That is really, really neat. I mean, really, really neat. Did you need something? Hey, man, what's so important about me being a Dragonborn? Haven't you been paying attention <laughs> to anything I've said? Only you can finally defeat Aldrin and avert the end of the world. If we can just find out what shout the Nord heroes used, you may have a chance. Or not. There's no guarantee with prophecy. Merely hope. Hmm. So you got any advice for fighting dragons? You're in luck. There is a blessing the blades used on the eve of battle. It's supposed to prepare the mind for slaying dragons. I doubt the blessing's effects would last for very long. So ask whenever you're heading out, and I'll perform the proper rites. Really? Hey, why don't you lay that dragon slaying blessing on me? May the scales of the dragon kind splinter at the touch of your arrows, and crack under the weight of your sword. That's all there is to it, Dragonborn. Good luck. What, what, what about my fireballs? Dragon Slayer's blessing has been added. Let's take a look at that. Dragon Slayer's blessing. 10% increased critical hit chance versus dragons for five days. I guess I better go find a dragon. Let's see if she's anything she wants to say to us. What is it? Uh, I already asked her this, but it looks like she has more to say. What do you have against the Greybeards? If they had their way, uh -huh. you do nothing but sit up on their mountain with them and talk to the sky or whatever it is they do. The Greybeards are so afraid of power that they won't use it. Think about it. Have they tried to stop the Civil War or done anything about Alduin? No. And they're afraid of you, of your power. Trust me, there is no need to be afraid. Think of Tiber Septim. Do you think he'd have founded the Empire if he'd listened to the Greybeards? Um, hmm. So is this all the Blades, two people? The Thalmor hunted us down, remember? It wasn't exactly great for <laughs> recruitment. But we have a headquarters of a sort now. We will rebuild the Blades. Someday. M maybe I can help you find new recruits. 
If you find anyone you think would make a good recruit, I can certainly take a look at them. Remember, though, being a Blade is a lifelong commitment. Their loyalty has to be with us once they're in. Hmm, interesting. Bring a follower to Delphine. I brought someone to adduct into the Blades? Really? You mean Jordis? Really? Kind of like Jordis. So could I? I guess I could bring any follower to her and s say they're here to be inducted into the Blades. I don't know. I know the prophecy by heart. Once all Blades knew it. When misrule takes its place at the eight corners of the world. When the brass tower rocks and time is reshaped. When the thrice blessed fail and the red tower trembles when the dragonborn ruler loses his throne and the white tower falls when the snow tower lies sundered kingless bleeding the world eater wakes and the wheel turns upon the last dragonborn where's the clap button that was really good Okay. Goodbye then. Well, I'm gonna look around some more. See what the old blades left for us. You do that. Yes, yes, that's an excellent idea. Who knows what other lost treasures we might discover. Let's see here. Let's look at the map. Oh, interesting map. I'm not really sure what to make of this. Looks like there's a lot more over here. Uh there are some stairs going up. Oh, there is actually more to this place. There's probably a way out up here. This will probably take us out of the place. Yeah, that'll take us back out to Skyrim. Ooh. Oh, don't be like... Don't. No, Jordis, don't do that. Okay, good. A little passageway here. It's very dark, I know. This kind of reminds me just a little bit of the Nexus in um, Demon's Souls. Just a little bit. She's looking around all right. Need something? No, I'm just looking around. Ooh, here's a chest. Let's see what's in here. Uh, gold. Nothing else I'm interested in. What about in here? I guess I'll take that gold too. I mean, there's no sense in leaving this gold behind. Hey, somebody light a fire. What about here? Some gold. So these are some kind of barracks. I guess maybe this is where the, the blades used to hang out. I didn't leave much behind. But, uh, they have no use for this gold, so we may as well take it. Right? That's how I feel about it, anyway. Oh, she's just gonna have a seat. I thought you were gonna look around. You're gonna sit there on your butt? Oh, she's you eating. Something? <laughs> she's like, hey, I found some hundreds of year old bread. Oh, I'm gonna eat it. I thought I saw another passageway. Yeah, okay. Uh, ooh, here's a book called Mace Etiquette. Dragon Bane. Oh, let's take that. That sounds pretty cool. I wonder if I could tell... I wish I could tell her... Yes, my thing? ...to uh, light these things, but I don't think I can. Doesn't look like I can. Anything else? Yeah, oh, actually, you know what? Why don't you pick up Mace Etiquette? Here, pick that up for me, will you? Yes, my thing? Pick that up. Okay, got it. There. Thank you, I appreciate that. Anything else? No, just hold on. Okay, here's some blades armor, blades boots. Pretty crappy stuff, really. Uh, at least the value isn't great, but... I'm surprised. Huh. Yeah. It sure does weigh a lot. Kind of feel like I should take it, but... If I just leave it here, I'll know it's always here. If I take it, I'll lose it. Or accidentally sell it. Bunch of blade swords up here. Okay. Pretty cool stuff, really. Yeah, pretty neat. Let's look at the map again. Uh, yeah, I guess, I'm guessing everything's looking pretty exposed. So, we need to go talk to Arngear, 
And if we look at the map, we'll see that uh, oh, on gear, on gear is way over here. I mean, he is way over here. He is a long, long, long way away. And I found it interesting that the game is actually telling me to exit this place through that way. Um, but this exit's closer, and I kind of want to see where it takes us. So let's see. Let's go to this exit up here and see what happens. See where it takes us. Take us out to Skyrim here. And then, then I need to make a decision. We'll talk about that here in just a moment. Oh, okay, nice bright sunny day out here. Um, hmm. Well, it looks like if we could... If we had just found this place at the start, we could have just gone into Skyhaven Temple this way. That's pretty neat. I mean, I don't know, I guess we're just up on top of a big mountain here, so it's not like someplace you could just walk up to and get into. Right? Pretty cool. See real far away, see this little animal down there in the water. Got a waterfall over there. The mists coming off of the waterfall. The mists up in the mountains. That's pretty cool. Nice view. Here we can look at the temple. See the carvings on it. It's pretty neat. Over here. See if there's a walkway or anything. I don't don't expect there will be one. I could probably manage to get wet down from here, even if I had to become ethereal. Uh but that's uh, that's not really the way you're supposed to take to get down. Got a juniper tree here. It's pretty steep, but we should be able to get down. But we'll go back in and go through. Follow the direction that the game is taking us. Now, I could fast travel to Hrothgar like that, right? I could. But what is it? Do you need something? Uh, I'm curious about this. I'm gonna hit a five here because I want to see what happens when I tell her this. Will, will I lose Jordis as a follower? I imagine what I will, it? huh? Do you need see what something? she says? Are you sure? I'll need to ask them to take an oath to leave their old life behind and stay here from now on. Oh, just stay there, huh? Uh, I'm sure the Blades need new members. Let's see what happens. Very well. She seems like a fighter to me. I'll give her the oath. If you find any more candidates, hmm. bring them here. Okay. So there you go. Hey there. The Dragonborn wishes to give you the chance to join the Lost Guardians of Tamriel, the Dragon Slayers, the Blades. Do you wish to become a Blade? I do. Are you willing to trade away all claims and titles of your former life? To live here? And devote yourself to protecting Tamriel from danger? I do. Then by my right as acting Grandmaster, I name you a blade. With all the privileges, rights, and burdens that brings. Godspeed. Dragonborn, what do you need? Huh. Well, that's pretty interesting. So she just went ahead and joined the blades... I wonder if there's a, a benefit to actually bringing her blades. Uh, I wonder if, like, at the end of the game, if that, you know, maybe there's, like, some big battle that takes place and the fact that there's blades will help me out. I wonder where she's going. She's probably going to go sleep. Huh, that's it. Follow me. I need your help. So I guess we could take her with us. Let's see what happens. Lead the way. Huh? I thought you were a uh, freaking blade. <laughs> So, she's a blade unless she's with me. Interesting. Huh. So she could continue to follow along, be my follower, but the very moment that I, you know, decide to travel with somebody else, she'll come back here. And, um, I guess I'm okay with that. Problem is, I, I don't remember where we met Jordis. Oh, she was, she's the one... <laughs> 
she's the one. She she kind of came with um, our place in uh, Solitude, right? She was she was our house Carl there, I think. So she no longer lives in Solitude. She lives here. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and just do that. I, I did F5 because I I was gonna just go back and reload. I just wanted to see what would happen, but I'm cool with that. She could still follow along with me, and then when she leaves, she'll come back here. I I'm okay with that. Plus, I'm also thinking that there's got to be some kind of benefit to bringing blades to Delphine, right? That's That's got to help us in the future. Right? I don't know. I would, I would think so. Okay, so, man, I mean, do I make this long walk back to Hrothgar to speak with Arngear? Do I do that? Um, you know, I've talked before about how, like, when I'm in the middle of a quest, I kind of feel like I need to, you know, n not fast travel because then it, to me, it feels like it takes away from the quest. I feel like this is something that should feel epic right and you know you kind of lose that epicness if you fast travel however i've made up my own rules uh, all of these are my own rules heck um and have said that it's okay to take a carriage you know um it's not my fault that the game decides to fast travel when i use a carriage but um taking a carriage you know that's that's arduous that's time consuming for my character anyway, not for us because the game doesn't make us sit through it. Uh, but um, yeah, I uh, I don't know. I just feel like fast traveling kind of cheapens the epicness of the quest. I don't know. That's how I feel. So I'm not going to fast travel. The drawback, of course, is that now we have to make our way over there, and it is a long way away. Um, and also, um, we've already uh, we've already walked between here and there. How do I get out of here? <laughs> We're down in this like valley area, and uh, I'm actually not sure how to get back up. Uh, actually, you know what? I. I I did want to go back up. I guess we go this way. I do want to go back up to this little place here and talk to this guy. Uh, remember, what did we do for him? Anybody remember this? Um, is it here? No. I guess it was just a miscellaneous. Yeah, we need to go back and tell Perth that the Draugr are dead. So we'll go ahead and walk back here and do that. And maybe on our walk back, we'll see if there aren't other quests that we could complete. We'll see. So, yes, uh, prepare for a long trek. Uh, at the very least, a long trek back to a carriage that will take us to Iverstead. And then we could take that up to High Hrothgar. So I wonder where he is. Let's go ahead in here and uh, we'll turn him on. Turn his quest on so that we know where he's located right now. Is he in his house? Is he in the mine? I don't know. This will tell us. He is in his house. Good, because I wanted to go in his house. Even if he wasn't in his house, Trust I was probably going to go in here. Trouble. What can I do for you, friend? What? Is that Jordis? We tunneled into an old crypt. We're warning strangers to keep out. She's wearing different. She's wearing the blade stuff now. I'm right behind you. Huh? Look at this. I am at your command. Where's my stuff that I gave you? <laughs> oh, yeah. Where's my stuff that I gave you? She had a whole bunch of stabs. Where'd they go? She had a ton of stabs, man. Really good ones, too. She had some really good armor. 
Didn't I improve some of the armor she was wearing? Huh. Interesting. Lead on. Okay. They haven't moved out of the caves. I think we're safe. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, we're going back, and I want to go back uh, because I want to see if the stuff that I had given to her is in that chest where the blade stuff was. I mean, because that was some damn good stuff. Now, if it's not in there, I'm going to go, I am going to go back and, um, you know, restore my save because holy hell, that was some good stuff. So yeah, let's learn, let's learn together. Although I'm sure you guys probably already know, but uh, in case you don't know, come with me. And we'll go back into this freaking place. And we'll see if, um... All that cool stuff that we had given to her is in this chest. Now she's wearing this dumb blade armor. That blade crap isn't nearly as good as the stuff that I had given her, man. <laughs> it's craziness. She's back there. Yeah, it's a bit of a trek. I mean, you know, even my character's tired of running. The way back seems farther than the way out. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know. Gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, so that chest was in this room over here. No. It's just gone. Now, when she joined the blade, she started walking in this direction. She didn't make it. But she started walking in this direction, and I thought that maybe she was going to these barracks here, and she was going to choose a bed, right? So, I'm just going to look in here. I, I really don't think we're going to find anything. But let's just look in these chests. This person... Okay, there's their chest. Um, but it's starting to look an awful lot like I need to go back and reload my save, huh? Because I want my stuff, man. That's some good stuff she had. Okay, well, reload my save I do, so I'm going to go ahead here and uh, load this thing. It was a quick save right here. So we're gonna... Talk on it, this thing's weird. We're gonna go back here right before I... <laughs> gift her to Delphine. Um... Yeah. I've got your back. Okay, trade some stuff with her. How can I serve you, my thane? So, I mean, look at all this cool stuff she's got. She's got this amulet of RK, she's got these gauntlets, this armor, helmet, shield, this cool bow, she's got my arrows, she's got this book, she's got this cool sword, these boots, and all of these stabs, man. All of this stuff. And when she joins the Let's get going. The blades, it just disappears. It just goes away. So I'm going to actually do another save here, just so I have a save point. Just in case I really screw something up here. Okay. What is it? Are you sure? I'll need to ask them to take an oath to leave their old life behind. <laughs> it just cracks me up. I mean, I, I don't talk to uh, Jordis about this. I just do it, you know. Let's see what happens if we say this. Right then. Oh, well, that's it. Okay. All right, well. Are you sure? Yeah. Very well. If you find any more candidates, bring them here. Okay, so she's gonna... You there. The Dragonborn wishes to give you the chance to join the Lost Guardians of Tamriel. The Dragon Slayers. The Blades. Do you wish to become a Blade? I do. Are you willing to trade away all claims and titles of your former life? To live here and devote yourself to protecting Tamriel from danger. <laughs> I like how she I looks do. at me. She's like, what and have you gotten me into? <laughs> acting Grandmaster, I name you a blade. 
with all the privileges, rights, and burdens that brings. Godspeed. So now she's a blade. By my honor, I pledge to rid Tamriel of dragons. So when did she switch that armor? I mean, that was quite a quick change she did, right? When did the change take place? That's what I want to see. I mean, do I need to keep an eye on her so that I could see it happen? I want to see it happen, man. When did she change her armor? When did she put on that blade stuff? I mean, because she didn't walk all the way back in here. I, I stopped her before she got back in here. So, very strange. Oh, what did you just do? <laughs> I love it when she says that. So, when did she put on the freaking blade armor? Was it when we left this area? Where's she going? Okay, this is her bed. She comes here. She puts her, her shield away. Did you need something? She gets into bed. Is it nighttime? Is it bedtime? It's 928 a.m. What are you doing, you lazy bum? Get up. This is weird. What do you need, Dragonborn? Dragonborn, what do you need? I need you to follow me. Lead the way. Okay. Do you need something? So she's gonna follow me now. She's still not wearing the blade stuff. <laughs> what are you doing? What? The, what? The, I told you to follow me. Why are you sleeping? Dragonborn. I'm a blade now. I can hardly believe it. Huh. Okay. So if we trade stuff with I her, serve you, my Thane? She just has a hunting bow. Let's get going then. Well, when does she put on the blade stuff? This is very strange. I mean, the only thing I could think of is that it happens when we leave this area. During the transition, she... she Puts on the other stuff? That doesn't make any sense. Let's see. Let me look at her again and make sure that she's... Okay, she still doesn't have the blade stuff. Right? Okay, so we're going to go out here. We'll see what happens. Uh, yep. Okay. Now she's wearing the blade stuff. I'm right behind you. Huh. I am sworn to carry your burdens. So freaking bizarre. Now she has this blade sword. She's got some arrows and a Nordic bow. That's it. That is it. So can I give her this stuff again and will she wear it? Let's see here. Let's give her these gauntlets. Armor. Yeah, she'll put it back on. Huh. Okay. And then... We'll give her... What's Dragon Bane do, by the way? 35 points of extra damage to dragons. 10 points of shock damage to others. That's kind of cool, I guess. Um, this is my sword here. Uh, I, I have an elven... Ex exquisite elven bow to give her. And... Um, I had also given... She was also using Mirak's sword. I don't know if she... I think she was using it. And then all these staffs here that she was using for a while, but then she kind of like stopped using them. So I don't know what happened there. don't know why she stopped using them. And then a bunch of steel arrows. I gave her about half of my steel arrows. There. Okay. Lead on. Very strange. That, that is very strange. So I guess when she... Don't, just like all followers they have like a base kit right and her base kit was that lame hunting bow and that armor that she was wearing but now that she's a blade her base kit has changed to the blade armor the blade sword and i forget what else uh but just like you can replace a follower's kit with better stuff uh you can continue to do that uh, even when they're a blade. So that is very interesting. But what, what is what really, really sucks is that if you don't take their stuff back before they turn into a blade, all your stuff is gone. So uh, I've done it right now. I, ha I have all my stuff. I got it all back from her. And I was able to give it back to her. Now she's wearing the cool stuff. And she's still a blade. So kind of strange, man. There's just stuff that you just find out. I'm glad I found it out 
sooner rather than later. You know, I mean, at least I found it out in time for me to go back and do that. Um, I mean, I guess I could have always just picked up a, a, a reloaded, you know. But uh, I wanted to go back and see if, uh, you know, my stuff was in a chest and we found out that it wasn't. It was just, as far as I could tell, it was just gone. Just absolutely gone. If you know otherwise, by all means, let us know in the comments. But that was pretty strange. <laughs> Alright, let's go up here and finish this thing for old Perth. Well, I guess she'll catch up with us at some point. Alright. In we go. I trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you, friend? Well, we are friends. But not enough so that I could take your stuff. Hey, uh, Perth. I hear talk about a regiment coming to clear the crypts out. We'll see if that happens. Eh, they don't need to. I cleared the mine of Draugr. You did? We were waiting for the Jarl to send an entire regiment to clear that mine. Now we can get back to work. Thank you. Good day. Alright, you're welcome. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Good to Mining out this old rock is a lot quieter now. Yeah. The divines. I guess it makes sense that they were not in the mine because they thought Draugr was still in there. Uh, okay, so now, now we're friends with him. Uh, interesting. I could take, I can now take, that's so weird. I can take the potion of minor healing, but I cannot take the potion of true shot. I guess that's too valuable. <laughs> the rules in this game, so bizarre. Huh. I'm just going to leave this stuff in here. Although I'm curious what's in the chest. Some gold. Okay, we'll just leave this stuff here. Um, it doesn't look like there's any books in here. I wonder what would happen if, like, I was still in here when it was nighttime, and his shift was over, and he was coming home to go to bed. <laughs> what would he do? Would he kick us out? Would he be okay with us being here? I don't know. Well, this is kind of a nice place. Let's, um, let's have a seat here. Let's have a seat. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, oh, there's a chest over there, too. Hold on, I don't want to miss that chest. Hold on. I want to see what's in it. I just want to see. Yes, this chest has a flawless emerald and some gold. I'm not going to steal this flawless emerald. But I am going to sit here. I'm going to end this episode. But before I do, I'm going to do a little bit of reading. Let's read that book that we just picked up. Um, it's called something about m your mace or something like that. Mace etiquette. Apparently, I stole this book from the blades. Apparently. One-handed increase to 29. Mace etiquette. Warriors sometimes make the mistake of thinking that there are no tactics with a mace. They assume that the sword is all about skill and the mace is only about strength and stamina. As a veteran instructor of mace tactics, I can tell you they are wrong. Wielding a mace properly is all about timing and momentum. Once the swing of the mace has begun, stopping it or slowing it down is difficult. The fighter is committed to not just the blow, but also the recoil. Begin your strike when the opponent is leaning forward, hopefully off balance. It is completely predictable that he will lean backward, so aim for a point behind his head. By the time the mace gets there, his head will be in its path. The mace should be held at the ready, shoulder high. The wind-up should not extend past the shoulders by more than a hand's width. When swinging, lead with the elbow. As the elbow passes the height of your collarbone, extend the forearm like a whip. The extra momentum will drive the mace faster and harder, causing far more damage. At the moment of impact, let the wrist loosen. The mace will bounce and hurt a stiff wrist. Allow the recoil, recoil of the blow to drive the mace back into the ready position, thereby preparing the warrior for a quicker second strike. This is good stuff. Sounds like somebody really knows what they're talking about. I mean, you know, that's what I do when I use a mace. That'll do it for this episode. Thank you so much for joining me. Had a lot of fun in this episode. I hope you did too. If you did, watch let me know. Maybe leave me a like or a comment. Share this video with your friends. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Click the bell so you're notified whenever I post videos. Thank you so much for watching. I sure do hope you join me again in the next episode.